Truffles are one of those foods that elicit thoughts of grandeur, lavishness, banquets, anything fancy, <laughs> and at least in my case, intimidation. I've eaten fresh truffles in the past. I know what they look like, I know what they smell like. I have a general idea of what they are. You might too. But having little experience in the back of the house in fine dining restaurants, I haven't worked much with these myself. And as the home cook, it might be a bit of a rare ingredient for you to stumble upon, and maybe something that you want to check out. Never before have I worked with real deal truffles. Until now which has led me to creating this video where I will share with you everything that I've learned about truffles through my research and through ordering some and working with them myself. All right, so there's a decent amount to go over, so let's get started. I'd like to start off by saying that I am by no means a truffle expert. I'm just a curious cook who wants to learn more about this luxurious ingredient. All right, let's start off by defining what a truffle is. First things first, today we are not talking about chocolate truffles. The fresh truffles we're going to talk about today are actually a subterranean fungus that grow under oak and hazelnut trees. As far as the looks of one of these things, if you haven't seen one, it sort of looks like a rough-skinned mutant chicken nugget, if you will. And while haters will tell you that they're not, they actually are related to mushrooms due to their reproductive fruiting or spore bearing bodies. But enough science. So what do truffles taste like? This question is really not easy to answer, but I can throw a bunch of adjectives your way. It's hard to pinpoint the exact flavor, but in my experience, I describe the flavor of truffles as nutty, earthy, meaty, oaky, gamey? Yeah, it sounds, sounds about right. What are the types of truffles? To put it simply, there are two types of truffles, white and black. Of the two truffle types, there are many species. White and black truffles are actually grown, not grown, they grow, but they're actually hunted in different seasons. White truffles are collected from around September to December, while black winter truffles are collected from roughly December to February. Other black truffles, the less prized ones, are collected throughout the year, sort of. It's kind of interesting, white truffles are actually historically more expensive than black truffles. And that's just because they have a way more intense uh, aroma and flavor. They're generally served raw over dishes, like shaved over dishes. More on that later. All right, so where are truffles found and where can they be collected? So traditionally, and even today, truffles are hunted by truffle dogs and pigs. These are just animals that are trained to sniff out like the pungent truffle aroma from underground. And yes, the proper verb for collecting truffles is hunting. You heard me correctly. <laughs> Pretty dope, right? I don't know why. It makes me feel like there's like some sort of like danger involved in like collecting these truffles, which sort of like makes them even more enticing in a way. <laughs> Maybe I'm just a weirdo. Anyways. So why can't we just farm truffles and streamline this entire process? Oh no, that's chill, dude, for sure. Big ass truck in the alley. Um, but do, 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 where the hell did I leave off? So why can't we just farm truffles and streamline this entire process, you might ask? While truffer, truffers, while truffles can be farmed, it's not as easy as just like planting a seed. Truffles are stubborn and only grow in very specific conditions. The soil needs to measure a certain alkalinity and there must be a certain uh, tree root concentration for them to grow within. So how people farm truffles is they actually inoculate <laughs> a tree seed with the spore. With that inoculated seed, they then plant it, let the tree grow, and hopefully, if all goes well, truffles will start spawning underneath the tree. Though it's a pretty interesting farming technique, a lot can go wrong and the process is a long one. All right, so you now have your truffles, so how do you store them? So truffles have an insanely short shelf life. About five to six days once you get them, if they're fresh, if you order from a good source. Fresh truffles are best kept refrigerated in a closed container and wrapped in paper towel. The refrigeration obviously helps keep the truffles fresher longer. Keeping truffles in a closed container helps stop them from oxidizing and spoiling while also kind of containing the aroma, because that is a strong aroma. While keeping uh, the truffles wrapped in paper towel helps them stay dry, obviously. Wet truffles are no bueno and will deteriorate very quickly. A fun little trick to do is to store your truffles with whole chicken eggs, cheese, animal fat, that sort of thing, anything with fat. All of these foods can be penetrated by the truffle aroma and sort of become truffleized without using any of your truffles. So those eggs actually tasted truffly, which is pretty wild. 
So the question everybody's thinking, and potentially why you clicked on this video, why the hell are truffles so expensive? If you think about it, the astronomically high price of truffles isn't that outrageous. Between the truffles' difficult farming techniques and collection methods, the trained animals that go into hunting for these truffles, and the sheer rarity of finding the right conditions for these truffles to thrive in, not to mention the quick turnaround time and logistics needed to make sure your truffles don't spoil in the short amount of time before they get to you, people go through great lengths to get their hands on these little funk nuggets. There's a lot that goes into it. All right, so your truffles are stored. How do you cook with them? Generally speaking, truffles have the most flavor while at room temperature. If you're using white truffles, don't cook or apply any heat to them. They're very delicate. White truffles are best served shaved atop a dish with a sharp knife, a mandolin, truffle grater, or like a microplane or rasp grater. Remember, heating white truffles, they lose flavor. Now, black truffles, on the other hand, are okay if they're cooked slightly. I probably wouldn't braise them low and slow or hit them with like a high heat sear, but in my experience, I found that black truffles fare well folded into like warm dishes. And a lot of people don't think you can cook with any truffles, but I'll tell you right now, that is false. Black truffles are... I kind of mentioned this before, but truffles, like any other aromatic ingredient, uh, bind to fat. So think cheese, milk, cream, eggs, uh, ice cream even. Remember, anything with fat can become truffleized. And guys, don't worry, I'll post all the articles that I used during my truffle research in the description below, so if you wanna check that out, it's there for you. I understand that many of you just totally won't drop your hard-earned guala on buying your own fresh truffles, which is totally understandable. But for my nerds who are planning to drop their cheddar on fresh truffles, I will provide a link below to a website where I bought my truffles. Full disclosure, there is no monetary incentive for me to give any of you any of these links or information. I don't get like a percentage or a commission from any of this. I've just used these resources before and know that they provide a quality product. Anywho, I hope you learned a ton about fresh truffles today. This is the first video of this kind that I've ever done, so uh, you know I hope you liked it. If you did or you didn't, let me know below in the comments. It helps me out. Also, if you learned something, smash that like button, bro. But for real, liking this video does help me. And of course, subscribe to see more videos like this. And until next time, peace.